The Denver Nuggets won the NBA championship for a few reasons. A couple of those are Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. But if you dive into the film like we're about to do, you're going to see some of their offensive actions and what leads to easy buckets. So let's dive into the film and take a look at what makes them good. And notice... A lot of dribble handoff action, some zoom action, some two-man action. We're going to look at a few of those here. Let's roll the tape. So right here, you're going to see right off the bat, they like to enter the ball into Jokic to initiate the offense, whether he brings it up or enter it in once they get across half court. And this is what you call zoom action or Miami action which is a down screen into a dribble handoff. Why is this hard to guard? Well, anytime you have an action before the handoff, you're putting two defenders into a decision mode. You're putting them into a disadvantage situation. And what often happens is it makes the defender have to chase. And so you'll see when Jamal Murray comes off this handoff, Schroeder is behind him. And right here, Emi Yora, he is in a decision mode. Do I help on this? Do I hedge off? Jokic is rolling. Do I stay with Jokic? LeBron James got to make a decision. Do I tag Jokic or do I stay home on Porter, the shooter? And Jamal's able to get Schroeder on his hip or butt cut him, sever the angle, and lead to a little floater, which is a part of his skill package. You see Porter setting that down screen for Murray. And this time the defender gets just flat nailed on it. Schroeder again. And there's just too much separation for a player with Murray's offensive skill set, his shooting ability. Anytime you get that type of separation from the defender, it's going to be good news for Denver, bad news for the opponent, Lakers in this case. You see Murray enter the ball into Jokic. He starts out as maybe the down screener. Then they decide, okay, let's flip this. Now KCP Pope is going to set that down screen. And now Murray's coming off. Again, look at the separation you have here for a shooter like Murray. That's too much. That's easy. Easy shot for him. He decides to pass it up. Work off the bounce. Gets the roll there. One more time. Let's just take a look. Down screen. They choose to go underneath it. So he goes underneath two guys. So he's getting double screened here. That handoff happens. Now he's going to get hit by his own man when Jokic rolls. So once Murray shot fakes and gets Shamit off his feet, he's got him on his heels. And now he can attack. He's skating them. He's got separation. Easy bucket for a high-level guard like this in the NBA. All right, we're still in the playoffs here. Now the Nuggets are playing the Timberwolves. And we're going to get into some different type of action. This is same zoom action, but now you have your seven-foot center. And I recognize, you know, we don't all have the luxury of having a player like Jokic, or actually none of us do except for one coach in the world, who's your seven-footer, can come off this zoom action and go create. He ends up getting a charge here. Towns takes a charge. But this is the same action and just inverting your players. Now you're throwing it to Murray. You got Aaron Gordon as the down screen, the zoom coming off that. Again, this zoom action can be highly effective because you proceed the handoff with a down screen action. Right here, you see Murray calling elbow. Now you see Jokic calling elbow. And they run this action a lot where they're going to set a back screen into a handoff. Back screen into a handoff. Let's watch this. There's not much of a screen set. But when Aaron Gordon enters the ball to Jokic, Aaron, excuse me, Jamal Murray is going to set a back screen. In this case, it's not really much of a screen. And his man gets caught. In this case, Vanderbilt. There's miscommunication. They're stuck. Anytime you can have action, it forces the defense to talk. When the defense has to talk, you've got a chance for a miscommunication. Again, so much separation. Anthony Davis can't get out there in time. Honestly, a little bit lazy on the defense by LeBron and Vanderbilt not hustling out there. Okay, again, watch this action. You got a back screen. Jamal Murray sets it for Jeff Green. Aaron Gordon into the handoff. 
Again, this is just hard to guard when you've got to defend the back screen right here. Jamal Murray's man, Martin, Caleb Martin, calls for a switch or he has to hedge and hold that back cut for a second because Jamal Murray did a good job screening Jimmy Butler. And that split second that he has to help on the back cut is going to free up Murray for that pretty good look from three. Right here, Jimmy Butler underneath. He's talking to Caleb Martin. He's, he's talking to him. I think he's saying, hey, do not help. You can't help on there. Good chance that's what he's saying. Again, we're still in the playoffs here. All these clips you're going to see are the Nuggets in the playoffs against high-level teams. This is a little bit similar action. May not be the same play design. You could call this split action just with Jokic here. You know, it's similar to what you saw with Murray setting the back screen coming off on handoff. But this is a split action or back screen right there into a handoff. And Porter's able to get the defender on his back. Create separation for pull-up jumper. Again, you can see this, this cross, this Iverson cut. So it's the back screen into a handoff. Right here, the Lakers switch everything. So Murray sets the back screen on Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is going to switch out onto Murray. We know he can't guard him out there. And then ultimately LeBron's going to switch from Jokic out to Murray, and it's just too late. This type of separation for a good shooter, they're going to make these shots. This isn't going to bother them enough to, to deter the shot. Again, similar setup. You got the back screen. Again, it's not even much of a screen set. Back screen into the handoff. Schroeder's late getting out there. Right here, Murray pushes in transition and brings the dribble out. Doesn't like it. Again, right here, we saw this earlier. Porter's going to come set that. Little flare screen or back screen into a handoff. These handoffs are hard when you have an action before it. Boom, he screens it. LeBron's guarding Porter. He's sunk off here. He's too late. LeBron is way too late. Right there, there's six, seven feet of separation. He's too late. By the time he gets there, he gets nailed on the screen. And Jokic's man is late on the switch. Also helps when you got a, a 6'10 guy shooting over the top. Again, here's your back screen action right into another handoff. Now let's take a look a little deeper at this clip. Right here, when Murray comes off and Jokic starts to roll, Dion, because Murray's going to take a, what we call a little dribble jab, he engages right there Aiton. Aiton might think he needs to help on the drive if, if they switch. But then Jokic is going to be rolling. Now you have two guys on the ball. Now we're in trouble for rebounding purposes. You got your best rebounder, Aiton, out here contesting. Probably didn't need to do that. It's not always about that shooter and the shot. The offensive rebounding opportunities can also be created with these type of actions. All right, here's just some simple two-man game action. Murray and Jeff Green. And this isn't utilized enough by players and teams at all levels. It's just kind of a get action where you throw it and you go get it. Chase action, all kinds of different names for these things, but Murray, to, Murray doesn't like it. He throws it back to Green, gets it back. He's got advantages. Again, similar from the last clip. Right here, Caldwell Pope coming into a handoff. You can see Braun right here. There's split action from the top. He goes, acts like he's going to screen, or maybe he thinks he has a slip, so he slips it hard. KCP gets nailed on the screen, or nails Anthony Edwards on the screen. Opens up for that easy look. All right, let's take a look at a couple more clips here. It's off inbounds, and they get this a lot. Again, Porter coming off that down screen, that zoom action. Getting a handoff and Porter's inbounding. He's going to come off this down screen into a handoff, create separation. 
able to get that look. So as you can see here, Denver runs a lot of handoff action. They'll run a lot of Zoom or Miami. There's these two and these three-man actions that put the defense in a compromise. And when there's miscommunication, that's when you get separation and you get good looks on offense. So this is an example of why Denver was able to win an NBA championship with these type of offensive actions.